Yeah, could you give me some thoughts about well, what was shared today? It's a little heartbreaking, um, you know, knowing that the gig's ending. I, I agreed to do it for less, so it's a little reassuring that I could come out for less money. Um, but just the whole thing just put a bad taste in my mouth, man. Um, all these years of doing this gig and then Richard drops a bomb, this is the end, it's over. How did, how did he, um, how, how was it brought up to you? Well, he said, hey, I got something to tell you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take any more road gigs. I took that as I was fired. And, and how did you feel about that? I felt very, uh, very emotional, heartbroken, sad, um, kind of left out and betrayed a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, it's kind of weird because then I said that I was devastated and I offered to do it for less and I got hired back. But, you know, who knows if that's actually going to happen, if, you know. But he agreed that I could come out and do these gigs for 50 bucks. So I think I might go ahead and do it just to keep in the loop and keep working, you know. And then tell us, tell us how long you've, uh, you've been playing with Richard. In his man. It's been, you know, we started in the 50s. 40 plus years, man. Long time, yeah. 40 something years. We started as a 32 piece big band. And uh, we still like a lot of Artie Sean, Glenn Miller, stuff like that. And we cut back, and every time we get bumped up, at the time I was getting 10 bucks a gig, and then he dropped a couple guys, bumped me up to 15. I finally I got up to uh, 75, where I'm at now. and. And then we agreed that I'd come in and do it for 50. So over those years, uh -huh. it, it, it's a pattern. Could you say it's a pattern with Richard, dropping people? Dropping yeah, people? Yeah, in, in the way I took that, when he said no more roll gigs, I took it as I was getting fired. And I thought he was going to hire someone for less money. So I thought, you know, if I offered to do it for less, maybe I'd get the gig back. And it worked. Right now, right now, what state are you in? Alabama. No, wait, Mississippi. In Mississippi. Yeah, I think we're in Mississippi. This is, uh, yeah, this is Mississippi's um, hometown. I, I think we're in Auburn. Fourth of July in Auburn. Auburn, Alabama. Are we in Auburn? I thought it was Mississippi. It's Auburn, Alabama. Oh, we are. Okay, sorry. I thought we were in Mississippi, but tell us, tell us does about that really the, uh, matter where we are? And right there, city of Auburn. Huh, that's weird. Okay, so does it matter whether we're in Mississippi or Auburn? I guess at this point it doesn't really. Like, this is the last gig. It doesn't really matter. So how how uh, what did bring us up to date on what's happening with the band right now? Um, well, the way we left it is um, I took a cut pay and then he divided that money up amongst the other guys to give everyone a raise. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with the gig. And tell us about today's gig. What's going on with today's gig? The one, you mean Mississippi, this one here? No, the Auburn gig. Oh, Auburn. We're in Auburn, right. Uh, what do you mean? Well, are, is, is there a gig? Well, this is very kind of disheartening, is that I was looking forward to playing one more time. Rocking out. Sure, rocking, rocking out. Rocking out. what I'm about, man. Game. I get up on stage and I, I play and, and I'm about performing. This is why I'm here. This is our last gig and I'm already deeply hurt by everything that's gone down today. Now I'm being told that it might rain and we might not play. How do you think this is gonna make me feel? Not very good, I'll tell you that. Not good at all.